What is up guys, welcome to yet another episode of Blueberry Fishing. On today's episode, I'm actually going to Bass Pro Shops, which is a gigantic outdoor shop, outdoor world shop in uh, USA. And they have fishing tackle, camping gear, boats, almost everything that has to do with the outdoors as you can see. It's called the Great American Outdoor Store. This is one of many outlets in the US. So we're gonna go inside and check things out. Let's go! If you ever go to the United States, I would highly recommend you to go to a Bass Pro Shops near wherever you are. They are spread out across the whole US and they've got the dopest shop ever. And it's extremely huge. It will be bigger than almost... Actually, yeah, it's bigger than pretty much every Singapore tackle shop. If you put every single Singapore tackle shop together into one giant store, it will still be smaller than this behemoth that is the Bass Pro Shops. And remember to bring a thick as wallet because you're gonna spend a lot, a lot of money unless you have good self-control like me. And over here guys, we have a giant aquarium inside of the Bass Pro Shops. This is almost standard in every single Bass Pro Shops that you're gonna find. Whether it's in California or Florida or Texas, you're gonna find like a giant aquarium with the local game fish. And over here we have a red fish, a red drum who is uh, local to Florida. And this I think is a largemouth bass, even though its coloration is a bit weird. And this is a Florida gar, or maybe it's a, no I don't think it's an alligator gar, I think it's a Florida gar. Which is native to Orlando, Florida, which is where I'm at right now. And that's another largemouth bass. Oh yeah, I just realized that that red fish is actually fresh water even though it's gigantic. It's still living in fresh water with all this uh, largemouth and bluegill. And there here's another fat ass largemouth. All of the fish here are like at least 5 pounds. And they actually pay money to anglers. Eh, do they? Actually, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But they actually, they only want donations of bass if they are huge. Like this behemoth here, I think it's at least 5 pounds, maybe 6. And here we have the same weight fish again. And I think this is a hybrid bass. Cool. And here we are at the fishing section. This wall is entirely dedicated to braided lines. And check it out, there's like a ton of fish mount. There's old school setup. And then there's fishing lines. And uh, here's the fishing section, I think. And there's just a ton of rods, a ton of tackles, ton of terminal tackle, ton of reels. The fishing center is actually the reel where they house all the reel and you can try it on and we have rods, tackles, soft baits, hard baits, every single bait you can think of, sharks on the roof and a uh, tall ass ceiling. And over here they have some interesting random stuff like this giant ass shark that you can take a picture with and it's, it's uh, supposed to look like someone just caught it so that's pretty cool. And over there's like a ton of decorations like red fish mounts, sea trout mounts and it's like super cool. All these mounts are super realistic and you know I actually want one of these for my house but they actually cost a lot of money, a few hundred dollars. And here we have some old school lures, jitterbugs, uh, old school lures people use for large mouths. And here we have one of our favorite fish, the mighty Tamensis peacock bass. It's a beautiful mount. I almost stole that to put it in my house, but luckily I didn't because I would be arrested. And this is actually one of the first things that I saw when I walked into the Bass Pro Shops. Over here we have a mangrove system and the different fish that are found within the mangrove systems of Florida. So that's cool. And then on the left side, as you can see over there, is actually the freshwater ecology of Florida. There's largemouth bass, peacock bass, and uh, some bluegill and whatever. And uh, it's actually to demonstrate the freshwater species in Florida. And over here we have some welcome sign and some tarpons. It all looks amazing. Would recommend. And believe it or not, the shop actually houses a boat showroom. And this is actually one of the few boats and it's on clearance. And all the boats look amazing. And it makes me want to buy a boat. And this is actually part of the uh, Bass Pro Shops. I'm currently in the White River Fly Shop, which is a section for fly fishing within Bass Pro Shops. And they have a lot of flies, so I went to check it out. But I didn't really purchase any, but it was still cool to see. And check this out guys, this is actually mailboxes that people in the US, they can use, they can buy this and they can use it as a mailbox. So man, that's pretty cool. And overall, I bought quite a few things at Bass Pro and spent over like $100. And I'm gonna, but I'm gonna wait 
until I go home to do that video about the unboxing and breakdown of what I bought which you're probably gonna see it after this clip right about now oh boy check this out guys this is my tackle rack with uh, some assorted rods some cat food even though I have no cat uh, some perfume, hooks, knife, whatever binoculars and uh, yeah this is one of my fishing box as well as this, as well as this, as well as this, as well as those, as well as those, as well as those, and uh, some net that I got from the US. Uh, this was my old net actually, I, I had it for about 3 or 4 years already. I used it when I was on my float tube, and that's like my travel rods, and these are some new rods mixed with some old rods, and those are the heavier rods that I took to Brothers Pond recently. Not, say, not, not really recently, yeah, but quite long already. And uh, this is a bag of soft plastic that I, that I bought slash brought because I had some left over from my house. But uh, yeah, we'll check this out later. And this is the main shit that I bought, the main gear. Oh yeah, check it out guys. Oh yeah, this is just a... Eh? Why so little? Oh, this is, I think because I put some in my tackle box really. But, alright, it's okay, it's okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is like... Oh boy, look at the receipt. Oh boy. Look at the receipt for all the shit that I bought from Bass Pro Shops, Outdoor World, Orlando, Florida. Oh man, look at all this shit, man. Oh man, dropped $108 US dollars. Oh, my wallet is broke, but it's okay. Alright, so let me show you guys some of the gear that I got. Uh, let me adjust the camera. This is a Abu Gas Jitterbug. It's the bait of champions. And I'm a champion, so I bought this bait. Looks pretty cool, eh? But it's a top water lure, and when you retrieve it right on the water, you go like do 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 do. Yeah, cool beans. Abu Gas. Yep, and I bought a Zara puppy also. I got I actually got two of this Zara puppy. One of them is already in my tackle box, but this one is still in the packaging because I was waiting to do this uh do this unboxing, not really unboxing uh, but this kind of whatever tackle shit video. Yeah. So you see Zara puppy tells you what kind of uh, what kind of fish you can target with this lure and the equipment to use, the techniques, blah blah blah. Oh, it's a pretty good pretty good packaging, huh? They still show you like the the fish that you can target and the equipment and the technique and stuff with it. Ooh, yeah, this was about I think like seven US dollar, and uh, the Abu Gas Jitterbug was also about seven US dollar. So good deal. And I also got this uh life target pinfish swim bait. This is probably one of my favorite lure that I bought from Bus Pro Shop. It's a it's a hyper realistic swim bait. From Life Target, which are known for their super realistic lures, and this is a uh, pinfish. I think it's designed for saltwater use, but uh, I plan to use it in Singapore also because it has a profile of a cichlid, or one of those many cichlid that roam in our reservoir or canal or whatever urban waterways. Yeah, it's the it's the penfish profile as they would call it in the U.S. And yeah, check it out. It's a uh, Three quarter ounce, three and a half inch long, medium slow sink speed. Uh, yeah, it has like, it's like this fin that is supposed to be make it more weedless, so that it cannot you cannot sunko this lure because you see the hook point and the the fin blocks the hook point. But the fin is soft, so when a fish swallows it, right, you can set the hook and gives you a good hook up ratio. This is a natural profile, blah blah blah. The oscillator tail, yeah, it swims very well. Actually, I, I don't know whether it's swimwear or not. I haven't used it yet. But, yeah, man. See the packaging? Looks so nice also. Got it for 13 USD. Eh, no. Eh? Eh? No, no, no. Fuck, I forgot. Let me check. Uh, let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. Pinfish swim bait. Oh, wow. Eh, not bad, yeah? Check it out. Pinfish. Focus. Pinfish swim bait for only 9 USD, man. This beautiful swim bait is only 9 USD, which converts to about 13 Singapore dollar. 
Where can you find a sim bait from Life Target that looks so good for 13 Singapore dollar in Singapore? Anyway, moving on. I got this uh bus bait, laser eye pro series, best pro shop bus bait in the quarter ounce. And yeah. It has a trailer hook, comes with a trailer hook already attached to the main hook. So that's nice. Bus master. It's pretty big, pretty big bus bait as you can see compared to my hand. And uh, I've got huge hands, the hugest hands I tell you. Yeah, but uh, blah 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 blah. Red laser. Uh, yeah, I plan to use this for Toman when I come across one or two, and then just buzz it over the head and hope it strikes. So far, I have I have never caught an adult Toman yet, like a full grown one. I caught baby one and a uh, juvenile ones, but not full grown ones. So maybe this one will give me a full grown Toman if I have the patience to cast and cast and cast and cast and cast for them. Uh. Anyway, moving on. This is my. Inshore saltwater scent by Procure. I've been I've used this for many years now already. Uh, used it mainly in the California actually. And when I came here, I I hardly fish saltwater, so I don't really. Okay, I do fish saltwater, but not locally as much because local saltwater sucks. If we have to be honest, unless you go to the illegal area. Yeah. So this Inshore saltwater super gel is I bought this from. Best pro shops over there because they have it quite cheap. Singapore they have it also at certain stores, but it's not cheap at all. I think it's like twenty dollars, almost double the price of what I get in the US. And here I bought three ponies special popper. This is like a super nice popper, and it's really cheap also. I won't tell you the price. That's secret. But yeah, Tony special popper. I actually bought like. Five or six ah, I gave some away and some I already took out of the packaging to use. And yeah, this popper is actually, you know, John B from uh, Fishing the Midwest on YouTube. His uh, username now is actually just John B. Yeah, he made a video about this popper as well when he w and he was fishing it. And he said that it's one of his favorite popper in the market. So yeah, I got three of these. I got one in a peacock bass color, very nice. One in a baby bass color or I don't know what kind of color I don't know what kind of color this is. Yeah, baby bass. Look, baby bass, baby bass, and another peacock, peacock, another peacock color. And now let's check out our soft bait that I bought. Uh, actually, this is not. I didn't buy this recently, but this is a rich craw, very effective for largemouth bass. Uh, not so much peacocks, but. I got this for Lush Mouth Bass many years ago actually. Uh, I just brought it to the US to use for Lush Mouth Bass, but I didn't catch much Lush, Lush Mouth Bass, only caught about two, I think. Yeah, oh well. Uh, let me put it back in the box. Pack of Senkos, this is quite old so 5 inch Yamam Yamamoto, Gary Yamamoto Senkos, very good for Lush Mouth Bass. And uh, this is a Bass Pro Shops tourney, Tournaments Series. Uh, Hump frog. It's like a. I also don't know how to say it, but the frog will go like do 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 do. Like the frog is a. It's just like a normal frog shape, but it's soft, so you rig it on an offset hook, weedless, and then you go go out on top of the water, then you go do 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 do, and then you create like do 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 sound, and then the bass will strike it. And uh, this is more Senko. Actually, I bought this for my friend Ness. If you're watching Ness, come and collect your shit right now, please. And uh. Oh wait, this is from Singapore. Never mind, I'll skip that. This is the Zoom Little Critter Craw. Very nice craw. It looks like a lobster, which makes me hungry, and hopefully it makes the fish hungry as well. And uh, this is Zoom Sea Tail Worm. Actually, I bought this for large mouth bass. Not much. Uh, didn't really plan to use it for peacocks. Yeah, it's mainly for large mouth bass. And uh, I also bought... A uh, few more shit. Let me see if my if they are in my tackle bag right now. Hmm. Bought a few more shit from uh, from Bass Pro Shops. Oh yeah. All right. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. All right. I got the this spoon. Uh, I think it's a I think it's a quarter ounce spoon. Focus. Very nice. I used it uh, in Florida surf fishing from the beach and I uh, caught a few fish on this but uh, the bad thing is uh, this is actually designed for freshwater use so the hook rusted out and uh, I had to change the hook and split ring 
and this is the same one but slightly heavier I think this is a 3, three eighth ounce uh, sort of like casting spoon also it's like the Cast Master by Acme which I used to have and it's a very effective lure as well and this one hasn't caught me any fish yet but the blue one has so yeah hopefully that one will catch me more fish I'm going to Bali soon uh, do some beach fishing and inshore fishing and whatever fishing and hopefully uh, I'll, I'll be able to use that and catch maybe a GT or two man oh wait man oh cool got some flies I didn't even know I had them yeah but anyway that's all for that's all the new tackle that I got in this box I think the rest is uh, in my other box and uh yeah this is my Leo box actually let me see if I can find my, the shit that I got from US uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a Bass Pro Shop popper, and uh, this one is the uh, Z another Zara puppy. Uh, you know, Zara puppy, beautiful lure. Zara puppy. It works very nicely. It's a top water lure. Toot, 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 toot. Uh, so far, I don't think I've caught any fish on the on this particular Zara puppy yet, but I've caught them on a Zara dog or whatever, whatever shit lah. But this and this is a uh, another Bass Pro Shop popper. This one has served me well so far. I've caught a Jack Crevel on it. Actually, yeah, one Jack Crevel on it. And uh, used it. And now I converted it to a popper fly popper. And caught many peacocks with it uh, two days ago. So that's nice. Yeah, that's all. And the other thing is I bought a jig. But that's in my jig box, I think. Uh, this one is nothing. This is just a... Oh, this is a jig that caught me my Jack Crevel also. Caught the nicest Jack Crevel. But the, the assist line was messed up, so I tied a new one with a 60 pound braid. Yeah, very nice. Always catch peacocks. And uh, pelagics also. Very nice. Yeah, I think that's about all for, for today.